Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about unit testing on address management system part 1. So I have discussed all about address management system for Angular tutorial. I'll try to cover all the scenarios and the use cases in this particular series. Please watch till the end of this address management system. To make it clear and not to confuse, I'll be creating different types of address management system, unit testing and its test cases. So in this video, we will learn one of the scenario where we will be going with the patch value and the initial setup of our unit testing for address management system. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here we have created an object by default and whenever our application is loaded, it will be trying to call this constructor. Whenever the constructor is called, then I'm doing a patch value. That means the patch value with this object. By default, my form should contain two addresses and also one name and an email with this Sai Kumar and Sai at the rate gmail.com. So for that sake, let me show you a demo. Now let me reload this. By default, we have Sai Kumar, Sai at the rate gmail.com and two addresses here. Let's try to validate this particular form by default. So let me go into the spec file and here let me create two variables. One is fixture and it is of type component fixture and assigned with app component and also let component instance colon app component so i have created a fixture and a component instance let's initialize that fixture is equal to once the test bed is configured then test bed dot create component of app component so now the app component fixture is ready now we can create the component instance by using this fixture fixture dot component instance and let me write one it statement where we are checking values with default object check so we are checking the default object values and let me have a callback function inside this callback function let me update the fixture first fixture dot detect changes and once the fixture is stable then i'll be getting a callback function and inside this callback function let me write our test cases so now by default i have an object so in this object i have name and an email and an address what we can check is let me go to the html file and here we have input fields so for example this is one input field with name and email and how many times we are having these addresses that is two times you can see here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so total we need to have 10 input fields by default let me check that const elements colon html input element with an array because we will be getting all the input elements and we'll be using our fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector all so we are targeting for all the input fields i am passing this element selector now our expectation is expect of elements dot length should be equal to 10 by default the object is having 10 input fields let me save this and go to the application where i am running ng test so one test case has been successfully passed now the next scenario is by default we are assigning all these object values to my register address by using a patch value let's test this register address so now the register address expectation is expect of we have something like a component instance dot obj dot or just we can use something like json dot stringify let me stringify this object and i will be checking with two equal of our json dot stringify of component instance dot register address dot value so the value whatever we have inside this register address that should be equivalent to your object whenever we are stringifying let me save this now you can see one is success that means two expectations with one it description was successfully completed now let me use one more expectation the expectation is expect of our component instance dot register address and inside this address we have addresses so how to get that addresses we have a method called as addresses as form array let me use component instance dot address as form array dot length 
that should be equal to to equal of component instance dot obj dot addresses dot length so our addresses length should be equal to the addresses array which was famed so here the object is having two addresses one address and two address so we should have a length of two addresses in my form let me save this now it was successfully passed and one more scenario is 